Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Jump Inside Games. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a game that's coming out very soon for Xbox, something I'm very interested in, and something that I've had the privilege of playing on PC. It's really good and really exciting, so I think it's time for an introduction of what this game is. If you're ready, let's begin. <laughs> Hi, my name's Seb and welcome to Jump Inside Games. Now, of course, this game, of course, is Police Simulator and I think this is an excellent game minus the bugs and the glitches when I first played this originally when this game first came out. Okay, then. I will now begin my adventure into Police Simulator. Other than that, this game is absolutely astonishing, and apart from seeing a few interesting things in the game... He does realise the screen isn't on, doesn't he? We're all, we're, all, we're all in the same witness here that his screen is just not on. The worst thing you're going to bump into on this game is running into a person on the street and them dancing around like a bit of a randomer before they turn back to normal again. I mean, I think that's the worst case scenario. Confirm! Hi there. Hi. When jumping into this game, you're going to have a task where you have to check out cars and to make sure their parking is valid, to make sure that they're uh, uh, not too far from the sidewalk, to make sure their license place is in date and all that kind of stuff. It, it's You're going to be parking ticket person at the start of the game. It's going to be very interesting. There's going to be a lot to learn and it's going to be very simple, quick to pick it up. But it is a lot to... Um, uh, to work out when you you know for everything so you do have to manage the small things at a time so this game does a very good job of giving you a little bit here and there and these are the things that i really do like wrong direction there you go right there you are a bad person back right next time and maybe we won't have an issue will we Later on down the line, you unlock things as you progress and you level up and you rank up. And one of the things that we did at some point, because one of the ranks up that you get is getting a police car, which is really good, fun and exciting. So some of these unlocks that you get are really cool and it's really fun what you do with them and you know, some of the missions that you do as well. Um, we unlocked a police car and in the back of a police car, you've got road barriers, which is really cool. And you also you've got stop signs as well. Um, so we used the road barriers to block off an entire street and stop a street from moving. It was really good fun. We blocked off the entire street and uh, the cars just randomly stopped moving for a few, well, for a few moments while we were doing it. And it took no time at all to make a massive blockade it was, it was, it was quite funny. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Look what we've caused! People are going, no! Hey there, officer! Hi! You okay? <laughs> You'll be here forever. I'm not removing them. One of the things we ran into when doing this was uh, running through vehicles. So it was kind of like a bug, but we found it really funny to do. And it was just funny for us to, you know, see that happen. So yeah, it, there was there's a few bugs in the game, but this, they're that laughable that I don't see why you need to patch things like invisibly running through a vehicle. It, it just, it's just a little bit of fun if you break the game a little bit. This game's quite easy to break if you do it right. One of the most enjoyable things on this game that I really well invested into was um, going over to people on the streets that were crossing over and jaywalking, just going like, hey, you, you gotta pay some money. So, one of the, so some of these things that we did was um, just enjoy ourselves by uh, doing all this, uh, stopping civilians that are breaking the laws. It was just, it, it was good fun to do it. it. It was, you know, you had to make sure you were watching, you made to make sure you got the crime right. But if you did that, you know, and you you, you, you saw exactly who it was and what the person was doing, 
then yeah absolutely it's a class a game you you've got the ability to just um, go like hey you do stop you know all that kind of stuff and yeah it was good fun it was really good also this game isn't restricted to day night uh, area that you want to spawn into and free room in total i mean you're going to be up and down the streets there's not going to be like you're not in like a crime scene you're actually got a whole area to work with so you know you're going to be up and down the streets you're going to be exploring the map you're going to be discovering things all the time it's going to be it's quite a nice fun little game and you're not like you're not going to be walking into food shops or anything it's not that type of thing or changing your clothes you are a cop this is a police simulator but you do have that free roam exploration of seeing the whole area that you're working into one of the more funny things that we discovered was you could put more than one ticket on a car and we spotted this lovely yellow car where you could put a ticket on if because it was parking right next to a fire hydrant it was um it was on the sidewalk and the license place was that a day i think it was okay i can't actually see that properly but i can see that it's a different color so i'm actually going to sue you for having it invited license plate so oh, that's two. Oh my god, there's a third one as well, isn't there? Can you see the third one? Anything wrong with your car here? Anything else are wrong? No parking for no, you okay? All right, you're cleared. You're cleared. Yeah, overall, that is the game. If you did enjoy this game, if you do enjoy playing this game and you have played this game then tell me what you think about this game in the comments down below i really enjoyed this game and there's only so many games like this uh i think the only other cop game that i can pick off uh that's a bit like this game you know a bit more rpg ish um would have been alain noir which was based as a cop game but based ages and ages ago and you're in crime scenes but you do get that free room exploration so there is similarities um but yeah pretty much um that's why I, I think it's a really good game i'm thinking this is like a proper cool proper really good cop simulation really nicely developed uh, a few bugs here and there but nothing that won't make you or laugh more than hate the game so yeah i think it's really good and if you bumped into any errors or you enjoyed this game, then write down in the comments below of what your thoughts are about this game. And if you will be getting this as soon as it comes to Xbox, tell me what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.